So I know I said I was going to talk to you in this video about bringing this text in, but in the spirit of keeping things short, I think I'll put in the maple leaf first. So we know that we have a maple leaf. Oh, where am I? A maple leaf right there. And we know that in the final image, uh, let's see, where's my assets? Where is it? Here it is, complete image. Uh, the maple leaf is at the bottom of every paragraph. So let's get that put in. Let's go back to the code. And at this point, you have enough skills to put the maple leaf in at the bottom of each paragraph by yourself. Um, but is it the P tag? That's something we need to know. So let's uh, do a little inspection. I'll just select this area here. We're looking to find out which tag to add this maple leaf to. And as I hover over this, um, let me open up that div. We'll learn more about divs later, but here's the H1. Here's the quick summary. So it looks like, yes, these are P tags. These have classes on them. And you've heard the word class in the slideshow and you've maybe seen it a little bit, but we're gonna learn more about that later. The important thing is these are P tags. So if I would like to put a maple leaf at the bottom of each paragraph, it's the P tag that needs to be my selector element. So do I have a P here yet? No, I don't. Let's add a P tag. And let's get the image in there first. Background image. And once again, I will choose the URL. And then I'll find my image. And we're looking for the leaf. There it is. So let's save and refresh. Oh my goodness, look at that. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but I know what's going on. Can't read any of the text. So first thing, let's get rid of the repeat. Where am I? And no, that's what we want. No repeat. Save and refresh. All right, next thing is gonna be position. And we remember that the default position is the left top. So there it is on the left. I know I want it to be centered. Um, I also don't want it at the top. I want it at the bottom. Can you tell I'm not a typist? I know I make some typos in these videos and sometimes I catch myself and edit them out. I also notice I say um too much and I also notice that you even though I can't hear my keyboard it's a very quiet keyboard but because of the internal mic it is really loud for these videos center bottom let's see what that looks like save and refresh much better but look at that right it's not nice um, so in the real world, if you were building this website on your own, you might need to mess around with it a little bit. I know that it's going to be a padding issue. I know that I want to pad. Let's inspect this. I know that I want to pad. Let me open this div. Uh, I'll do the quick summary. I want to pad the text away from the image. I want to move the text up so that the image is left at the bottom. So moving the text up means I will put some padding at the bottom. So let's try that padding bottom. And in fact, let's just look at the size of this image quickly so we'll know how much to add. It'll tell me right down there at the bottom, it's 23 by 25. 23 is the X, the right and left. 25 is the top top and bottom. 
Um, where am I? Right here in the P tag. So I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to put padding bottom. And I want to go more than 25 pixels. So let's try, uh, well, let's do 25 and see what it looks like. Save and refresh. Yeah, it, it's okay. It's off the text, but we need a little more space. You can see that. Let me close this inspector. Needs a little more space. It's just very, very close to that text. So I'll make it 35 and save and refresh. Much better. Okay, let's move forward.